Over the last two days, I would say I've been through a roller coaster of emotions. I felt overwhelmed at times by what I've seen. Almost six months later, there are still villages that are cut off. There are still areas that have stagnant water, schools that are half submerged that I've seen for myself. I visited villages where um, people have lost everything. I've stood on the ground that used to be someone's house or used to be someone's cotton field. It's there no more. And I've spoken to mothers uh, who have only the opportunity to give one piece of bread to their children. Heartbreaking stories and heartbreaking situation to be faced with. But at the same time, um, I've had moments of absolute pure joy. I met with some of the most vibrant, happy, enthusiastic girls that, I, that I've met, ever seen in my career. They were so keen to be showing me their, their exercise books, what they'd been writing, what they'd been learning, um, and they were giggling, they were happy. A third of those girls were coming to school for the first time. That inspired me. The other thing that I have felt coming around with the team is an immense sense of pride for the work um, that UNICEF has been able to support. UNICEF has been on the ground since day one, and we are still here, and we will continue to be here. The impact has been profound. Yes, it has really underscored the inequities between the haves and the have-nots. Yes, it has shown us that there is so much that needs to be done and so much solidarity that is required. But we also know what to do. And if we are given the support and the resources, and, and here I appeal to our generous partners to, to keep on giving to the children of Pakistan, then we can do even more for them, both today, next week, and into the future.